Good morning. It is September the 27th, 2021, and uh, it's uh, about 10.48 in the morning, <clears throat> and I just wanted to capture the last few days uh, <coughs> events. So, on, uh, on Friday morning, I just uh, had the sense, and my wife did as well, <coughs> that it was uh, <coughs> a weekend where we needed to get away for a few days. Uh, so, we decided to uh, go to uh, the mountains. Uh, it's one of our favorite places to go. And uh, we started making plans to do that. I actually had made plans to do that. But my wife gets a text message from a family member that says her uncle died during the night. Just passed away in his sleep. Which is not cool, but you know, that kind of stuff happens. <coughs> it happened to be the uncle that she says that her and her kids were the most close to, I believe. Well, anyway, um, <coughs> later that day, uh, she gets a, another text message and says that uh, the funeral arrangements would be just there at the uh, <clears throat> funeral home and his body would be cremated <coughs> excuse me and also which you rarely ever see or hear of <coughs> the uh, there would be no um uh, religious type things that uh, will be said or anything like that will be just short and simple and that struck me as odd <clears throat> but nevertheless that was what was uh, to happen and Michelle said she wanted to go and I didn't have a problem at the time. I did feel like that God was saying for us to go to the mountains. And uh, just in my human human form of uh, life, you know, trying to allow my wife to, uh, to grieve, um, I'm going to just walk back this way. <clears throat> you know, for the loss of her uncle that she can no longer see again. Sorry, I can't see the screen on this video that I'm making because uh, it's really, really bright. <clears throat> well, anyway, I, uh, <clears throat> I say... Okay, no problem. <clears throat> we'll do it. Well, <coughs> that's Friday afternoon. And really didn't think a whole lot about it. Um, but uh, I get up the next morning. Not in a hurry, just normal get up 
morning on Saturday where you try to be a little lazy, I guess, is uh, a proper word. <clears throat> um, and for whatever reason, I decide to do the dishes. So I get my water going and all of that, and in the middle of, uh, of, <clears throat> uh, doing the dishes, this thought just hits me like a ton of bricks. Let the dead bury their dead. Which is taken out of Luke, um, chapter 9, and I believe it's verse 60. Uh, where Jesus says, let the dead bury their dead. You know, which is, <clears throat> you know, unsaved people or unrighteous people. Um, you know, and I <coughs> immediately tell Michelle, God's saying, don't go. Don't go to that. Don't waste your time. <clears throat> I've got something else for you to do. Go to the mountains like I told you. Well, she says, okay, I trust that God's speaking to you about this, and that's what we're going to do. So we immediately get ourselves going, and within uh, 45 minutes or so, we're on the road. <clears throat> Um, you know, we were just going to be going Saturday night and then come back Sunday, you know, which we did. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, on the way up there, God's saying, you're going to talk to somebody. You're going to talk to somebody. You're going to talk to somebody about me. The funny part is I never know who it is. Well, there was a conflict within our group. <clears throat> uh, our 16-year-old son <clears throat> showed his butt, so to speak. Well, actually, it wasn't no so to speak to it. He showed his butt on Friday morning and really uh, talked ugly to Michelle and also me. And... Uh, that <clears throat> that wasn't going away. Well, we ended up having a very long conversation Saturday night. <clears throat> and we got everything corrected that needed to be corrected so that we could have uh, a good family time together. So... We get up the next morning. Uh, well, two, let me back up. On the way up there, you know, I was thinking about going and playing um, uh, miniature golf or goofy golf, <clears throat> you know, on Saturday on our trip up. <clears throat> and um, I had that thought, and immediately God shuts it down. Don't go to Gatlinburg. Okay. Michelle tells me a little later that she had thought thoughts of going and seeing a young lady at one of the shops in Gatlinburg. Um, uh, because of... Um, our testimony and what she is kind of going through at the time. Uh, she's, Michelle and her have communicated together and, um, and she kind of touches base with us sometimes or, or with Michelle. But Michelle said, God said, don't go today. <clears throat> so we ended up not going. <coughs> The next morning when we get up, Michelle and I are laying in the bed and I said, we need to go to Gatlinburg and I want to play this particular um, miniature golf course that I've 
always wanted to play that every time that I've ever gone to Gatlinburg, it's up the side of the mountain. Uh, some of you may know it. Um, if I said the name uh, right now, it's just not coming to me. Um, you actually have to ride a incline uh, deal to be able to get up to the top and then play uh, the course as you're coming back down. <clears throat> well, <coughs> as we are about to go up and pay, uh, Michelle sees 777, and we were talking about the, the night before. Okay, so of what happened with our son and the talk that we had. <coughs> so we immediately thought it was about that. Well, they give this little spiel as you're about to go play the course that you might see a bear or um, you might um, lose your ball. If you do, there's a phone number to call. <coughs> okay. So, in that phone number is another 777. Well, we end up talking to a couple about our testimony, our 108 story, which is just kind of crazy how it happens. You know, uh, we, uh, <clears throat> the guy at the end of the, as we're getting back down to the place that he drops us off on this course, he says, what's the chances of that many people having a hole in one? Because my wife had two holes in one on that course that we played. <clears throat> and I immediately went, okay, that's interesting comment. And then the couple that was riding with us, she happens to be a wedding photographer uh, from Ohio. And she was down doing a wedding there. I believe it was in Gatlinburg. She didn't ever really say. But anyway, we end up telling uh, them about the 108 story and everything that happened on our wedding day and what, what God has revealed to us <clears throat> since then. You know, and I knew when I heard that guy say, what's the chances? And then her being a photographer and doing weddings, you know, I knew that God was saying, okay, tell, tell this, this couple. So we did, and... <coughs> After that, um, we decide it's time to get something to eat. So we go to this Mexican restaurant, and our son um, uh, looks at the menu and just looking at a quesadilla, typically uh, a quesadilla or a chicken or a cheese quesadilla or chicken quesadilla is, you know, 7 or $8 dollars. Something like that. But this particular Mexican restaurant, it was like $15 for a uh, cheese or chicken quesadilla. I don't ever know. I didn't really recall. I don't really recall which one it was. But it, nevertheless, we leave. So we're looking for a, a different place, um, which was really cool that he had the prompting to look at that price and 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 say this is very expensive let's are you sure you want to do this and Michelle and I both look at each other and say no this is not what we need to do <clears throat> just to save money so we end up going to this little hole in the wall place this off the beaten path <clears throat> there in Gatlinburg and we walk up to this place now keep in mind Michelle has wanted to get this Philly 
sandwich at a place that's on the strip but they never every time that we've ever been up there in the last couple of years they've never had the philly steak to do the sandwich with they always run out and they they always tell us you have to get here early to be able to get it <coughs> well we're looking at different places and we we see that there's a philly uh, steak shop that's not on the beaten path so we go there in the phone number there's a 777 okay and I was like okay that's God saying you're going to talk to somebody you just never know who it's going to be <coughs> they come out our order number is number 53 <clears throat> and the ticket that they gave me as I picked up the sandwich that I didn't look at until I was picking up the sandwich was time stamped and the seconds on the time stamp was 53 seconds. And I immediately went, that's odd. So I told, I showed that lady that gave me the sandwich, <clears throat> or sandwiches, I said, look at this. Our order number is 53. Look at the seconds that were time stamped on this ticket that you just gave me. And she was like, whoa, that's weird. <clears throat> I said, no, it's, it's something. And she was like, well, what is it? So... I said, let me go give these sandwiches. If you've got just a minute, I'll share with you what I'm talking about. And as I'm about to tell her about this, uh, which is the 108 story, I look at my phone, and there's a 777 on my phone. And I was like, okay. So I share it with her real briefly, and she said, I'm not the one you need to be talking to. It's my son that works there at the shop, which is the same person that took our order. I, he, and she said he carries a, a Bible with him in his back pocket everywhere he goes. I said, okay, tell him I want to talk to him. So... <clears throat> Probably is seven or eight minutes had passed by, and they had pretty much finished up uh, with what they were doing, it appeared to be. He comes walking out of the door. I thought she had told him, okay, who I was, but she hadn't. He had no clue. <clears throat> So we kind of start talking. I'm about to share the 108 story with him. And there is another 777. And I'm like, okay. I said, go ask. I said, that's just so strange. I said, look at the phone number of this place. I said, do you see it? And he finally went, oh my gosh, there's a 777. In the phone number. I said, now go ask your mom what number that I saw when I was about to tell her about what I'm about to tell you. So he goes in there and she says, yeah, he saw 777. And he was just, he turned around and he was just like, gosh, that's so weird. So the point of all of this, and there's one little piece that I, I forgot. Our son, because of him getting right with God in the family setting on Saturday night, God allowed him to be part of this, what happened 
yesterday afternoon with this guy at the sandwich shop and his mom. Because if he wouldn't have noticed the amount of money that a cheese quesadilla cost at that Mexican restaurant, we wouldn't have ate at the Philly shop that my wife has been wanting to eat at one in Gatlinburg for two years. <clears throat> Anytime that we've ever gone up there, she's wanted a Philly sandwich, and she's never been able to get it until yesterday. <clears throat> Which is just absolutely mind-blowing. Now here's the thing of why I'm telling you about all of this, guys. If we don't allow God to lead us each and every day and each and every second, down to the second. Think about this, guys. Our ticket number was number 53. The guy that I ended up talking to mashed the buttons on the computer that time stamped that order in the last in the fifth in the seconds in that time stamp was fifty three, which led to me sharing two with two different people the amazing 108 story that God has put together in mine and my wife's life. And if, and if our son hadn't have gotten right with God, the prompting wouldn't have happened for him to see that. And then him suggest the Philly sandwich shop that we ended up going to to eat. How amazing is that? When we allow God to direct our lives, whether we realize it or not, how amazing is it when you look back and you go, Oh my goodness, that wasn't anything that I planned or anything that I did to make that happen. It just happened just as God wanted it to happen. You know, but here's the key. We have to be in tune with God through Jesus, obviously, for us to be able to listen to those promptings or the unique way that God speaks to you or I. You know, it just ha so happens to be that He speaks through numbers to me and my wife. None of our family understands it. They turn their head <clears throat> and and just go, that can't be real. And everything that I've told you about in this video, except for two things. One, being... The, uh, let the dead bury the dead while I'm washing dishes, okay? And the other is, well, actually, it was just going to be one. Because the second one I was going to mention is our son saying that this is very expensive. Well, it happened to be a number that caught his attention, which was the price of the, of the food. So there was a number that got his attention. <clears throat> now think about that. Everything that I've told you about, God has directed me and my wife over the last, since Friday to meet the people that we've met and talk to them about God. And it wouldn't have happened if we were not in tune slash listening to how he speaks to us. Okay? If we would have continued and gone to the funeral home to pay 
homage to or tribute to or or whatever you want to call it okay to a uncle that obviously without any kind of religious service he didn't know Jesus and didn't want any part of Jesus the family didn't Maybe that was his wishes. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was theirs. I don't really know. <clears throat> but the whole point is, is if we would have done what my wife wanted to do because of her human reasoning and her human feelings, <clears throat> we wouldn't have met the people that we met ju yesterday. Just yesterday, we spoke to four different people about God <clears throat> that, for whatever reason, God needed them to hear what we had to say about our 108 story, you know, that he put together. I, I didn't put it together. He did, <clears throat> you know. And we wouldn't have been right inside of our family on Saturday night if we would have gone to that funeral on Sun, which was yesterday, Sunday. It would have been yesterday. <clears throat> we would have missed the very thing that that Jesus taught about, or even still teaches, because it's a living word still teaches about in the Bible, you know? Further in the kingdom, kingdom of God, which is expanding it or planting a seed or whatever it is that God has called you to do, you know, for Him, we would have missed every bit of that. Man, that is so phenomenal of all of the things that had to happen for us to get to the end of the day yesterday. And what we saw not long before we got here, you know, uh, and what our Bible said after we got here, was just absolutely amazing and we wouldn't have experienced that those things in his word last night after we got home and was able to to sit down and look at it we wouldn't have been able to get the confirmation of the things that were going on on the way home that God was speaking to us about I just find that so fascinating, you know, and I, when I, when I looked down just now and I was thinking about the very thing that God talked to me about 45 minutes before we got here, I see 274 and 274 is, uh, <clears throat> numbers 2319. God's not a human, therefore he can't lie. And I see that on the counter of this video that I'm making as I'm thinking about it. Guys, how does that happen? You know, 27 minutes and 40 seconds into this video, I had the thought of what God confirmed to me last night on the way home you know which is a different video we'll share at a different time if god chooses to allow that but the whole point oh my gosh and the wind is starting to blow again how many times have i made videos guys and the wind just starts blowing like it's doing right now it hadn't been blowing like this you watch the first 
20 something minutes of this video and you'll see a very light breeze and then all of a sudden the wind starts blowing <laughs> that's just so awesome guys it's so important for us to listen to what god tells us to do each and every day don't miss that oh and it's just getting really 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 hard right now harder than it has every <laughs> since i said that the wind was blowing man you talking about a confirmation of agreement that god is ta saying these words through me guys i'm just a vessel that god is using to help others know him in such a way that is just incredible an incredible experience incredible journey and it is a journey guys it is such a journey and it's just so cool that it, the wind is just blowing right now i think i'm gonna end this video so i can just enjoy the presence of god for a while after i end this video so friends have a wonderful day god bless you